Good afternoon class. So what I wanted to do today was make a video on this machine right here. This is a centrifuge. And when you have a solution that's kind of murky like this and you want to separate things, you use the centrifuge. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to put my liquid. And it's very important when you do the centrifuge that you balance it. So you have to have about equal liquid hit volumes here and there, otherwise it's gonna go crazy. And then I'm gonna turn it on, and while it's running for a minute, I'm gonna go explain how the centrifuge works. So when you turn it on, make sure it's not vibrating too much, because that means it's out of balance. And this machine is the university has had forever. Um, you know, like the 70s probably is right here. So I'm gonna let that run, and we're gonna go over here to the whiteboard. And what I wanna talk about is kinda how so I want you to imagine you're in a pond, okay? And the pond is full of all kinds of particular matter. And what happens over time to the pond? To these particles that are here on, on the board, they go down to the bottom, right? And eventually they kind of form a, a sediment at the bottom. So this is what a sediment is. And the centrifuge works a similar way. Instead of this has the force due to gravity that pulls the particles downward, in the centrifuge, as it spins, there is a constant force directed outwards. Okay, the force directed on there is always perpendicular to the direction they're spinning. So here it's there, here it's over there. And that's what pushes the particles down. This is very similar to what happens if you ever decide to donate plasma. If you donate plasma, they take your blood out, they spin it around really fast, and then the red blood cells because they're more dense than the rest of your blood, pull at the bottom, they put those back in your body, and the plasma goes off to be donated to another person or to be used for medical research. So this hopefully is done now. You go back over here, turn the centrifuge off. Now when you turn it off, the advice generally given is to never, ever, ever touch the top here. And it's super important you do that because you can injure yourself. And usually... You should never ever touch the top because you don't know where the glass is right there. And most modern centrifuges have covers on them. This is from the 70s. And you can actually see the streaks on here where people probably touched it and let it go. But I'm going to let it flow. And we're going to see how this worked here at the end. Okay. takes a little while to slow down because there's not a lot of friction on there, which is good. You don't want a ton of friction on your centrifuge. Okay. So I got the particles there. And look at that. I've got the lighter particles up top, the aqueous solution in the middle, and at the bottom is the solid heavy particles. So that's this one. And then the other one actually separated a little bit better. To be honest, I would let this run a little bit more. Um, if I was doing an experiment, but for a day that serves our purpose for the video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed learning what a centrifuge is.